Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome to Let's Play, or welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. And we completed every stage. Double check. Excellent. And all that's left is to take on the boss. What kind of epic battle will we have? Well, actually, it's not really so epic. I'm sure you've realized by now that escape is impossible. Wait, what? Now Mercedes? That, that ring. Okay, I don't it. like this. I cannot let anyone have it. Mercedes is my favorite character in the it game. The but this doesn't make sense. You see, Mercedes at this point in her story isn't exactly the most competent of characters or confident at this point in the story because, well, you'll see when we actually get to her character, which is the next book, actually. Ow! So, I have no problem with, you know, this scene itself, this scene itself, but... My issue is that she's acting confident and cocky, which she should not be acting like at this point in the story. She should be more insecure, I guess. So, eh, whatever, it's it's not a huge deal. It's mainly, I think Stephanie Shea, just, that's the voice actress, I believe that's who voiced Mercedes, probably was not directed properly for this scene. Plus, the, the translation seems weird to me there. And she just seems to come out right out and be very forceful, which is just bizarre for her character at this point in the story. But either way, it's not a big deal. Uh, she's the fairy princess this time. But even though she's technically called a different enemy, instead of the fairy queen, she's the fairy princess, she's exactly the same. Meaning this is a very boring battle. Yeah, let's just avoid that. So, of course, let's start by buffing up. We're going to start with a painkiller. Follow it up with a regeneration. Follow that up with... Doesn't matter if they hit me. An unlimited pow, if I can get to them. Uh, where are my unlimited pows? There they are. I'm still having trouble finding all my stuff. And finally go with Overlord. And now it's just a matter of beating the crap out of her. And this is why regenerations are really abusive. Yeah. I don't need strategy anymore. I just kind of run up and beat up the boss. And she's going to die before my buffs wear off in all likelihood. My unlimited pal might wear off, but I'm not even so sure about that. Come on, get back here. And that's the end of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's really abusive. <laughs> I won't always be able to do that, because I won't necessarily have access to attorneys, but... She's unconscious. Pretty ridiculous. Princess Velvet, are you alright? That doesn't look like velvet. I see. My granddaughter yet. Sounds lives. familiar. Oh no. Come this way. Take the ring and escape. By the way, the music is awesome. Oh, that spirit I helped. Yeah, yeah, the the guy he helped is the main villain. So, Thank thanks Cornelius for unleashing this guy on the world. Back to this world without being caught by that pale woman. That crown. So you must be And I kind of like how he doesn't even have a name. He just calls himself that. Oh, crap. Uh-oh, he's got the ring now. Now, remember, he's going after the ring to use the cauldron. Remember this, because this is a plot hole later in the game that doesn't make any sense. But, oh, well, for the most part, the story is well written. 
Neither can Odin, nor the fairies, nor all of Titania. They must see hell firsthand. You want the world yeah. to end? Yeah, pretty much. Eh, he'll explain it a little more later. You may want to get off your ass and stop him, Velvet. Oh, I love that line. Let's kick his ass! I wish he had just fought this guy instead of Mercedes, but oh well. Did he get him? I chopped the ring right off. You fool. Intruding on us? This isn't over. You hear? That scene just gives me goosebumps. Especially the part where where uh, he just says, Neil, fool, I am your king, and then Cornelius' uh, response to him. I just love that. <laughs> I don't know why I love this scene so much. It's just so awesome. Sure thing. Princess Velvet. By the way, that's uh, the guy you love. It is me, Cornelius. No, I can't. She can't love me when I'm like this. Aw, oh, poor Cornelius. I can't tell her. Just close your mouth and endure the pain. But for how long? Apparently all of eternity, because, well, you're cursed as a puka forever. Thanks to, uh, Ingwe. Oh, where'd, where'd Velva go? Oh, here you are. You jumped out of bed the instant you oh, woke I'm up. sure he's looking for Velvet. How do you feel? I think you should get more rest. The princess, how is she? Princess Velvet brought you back here. Oh, well that's good. Where is she? Yeah, I was wondering that. She's not here right now. Oh, of course, she's never here. She was in a hurry to leave. As always. I don't think you should care, though, Cornelius. You didn't exactly want to tell her. Huh, save game? Yeah, sure, why not? Save uh, in a new file, in case I have to redo this chapter. Then I'll probably save right again on the next slot, so I don't screw that up. Oh no, I want to save uh, save that in the previous slot. No, we'll save it here. And we'll talk to these people, see what's going on. the newcomer. Well, yeah. Is it true that you've been to the Demon Lord's country? Well, of course. Until just recently. I was an attendant to Princess Gwendolyn in the castle. Oh, but, well, she's dead, right? That's her. No, no, yeah, this is where Cornelius finds out she's, she's fine. It was her sister that was killed. Oh, you're better now. I well, heard about yeah. King Valentine. Yeah, kicked his ass. Such a great king. Cut his finger off, I assume. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how else he got the ring to come off. Well, they seem to still have all his fingers. Just the ring. Maybe he was just holding the ring. I assumed he put it on. I don't know. It was cool. That's all that matters. Sounds good. Where to now, game? Uh-oh, the fireplace. Well, you know what? Since we're going to the fireplace... Why don't we go ahead and just buy... A cooler to start with. Is there something you yeah, I could use one cooler. Oh, you're actually not going to let me buy a cooler. Dick move, game. Dick move. 
Ah, well. I'm sure we'll get it. We'll get, uh, Habaneristas in here pretty easily. Just have to deal with it for the first stage. Kind of unfair, but, yeah, whatever. Since there's no other way to get a Habaneristo. Other than in this area. At least not to my knowledge. If you can, they're extremely rare, because I've certainly never gotten them. Wrong? What's going on? The what now? Here they come. Hurry. Oh, these guys are goblins, huh? Uh-oh. Why? There must be some around. Well, I guess, you know, gotta have money, right? Hold it, bunny. I gotta cut those ears off. Uh, that's not very nice. Yeah, you picked the wrong village to attack. Oh, of course. Now the guy runs away. Wait, what? How is that possible? Oh, well, that makes sense. must be given freely in order for the spell to be broken. Stealing the coins won't help. Oh. So then why would they want to steal them? We know that. After all, our king cursed us. But King Valentine ordered us to do this. Whoa. Is this his uh, payback on us? This isn't our idea. But we can't just let you pookas be the only ones who get to be humans again. But if we toss the coins in the lava in the fire kingdom like the king Then said, we'll all be stuck here forever! Fire your crying faces forever! Uh-oh. Meryl, are you alright? Oh, you can't let them... If we lose the coins, then we will never return to our old selves. That's not good. Guess we'll have to, uh, stop them. Hopefully we don't run into uh, into the Fire King here. I say his name, but honestly, I'm blanking on it right now. Oh well. God, that's gonna bug me. What the hell is his name? Yeah, whatever. He's a pretty important character too. I can't believe I forgot his name. Oh well, it'll just have to bother me. <laughs> eh. Take that Habaneristo. Give me a material. Excellent. We're going to need that. Just for now. Yeah, those guys can actually attack you, but it doesn't really matter. Let's keep going. Let's go to uh, 20 minutes. See how far we can get. If you want to really break the game, just get enough regenerations for the mini boss, too. Oh. Oh, sounds good. To prove it, I'll tell you anything you'd like. Wouldn't you just give it to him? Well, I'll take the uh, uh the adversary ring. The adversity ring sucks. It doesn't have a very good effect, so. Oh well. Nothing else is that good. Might be able to get a Jupiter bangle here. I forget. One more, an onion? I didn't know you could get onions here. Or at least I didn't remember that you could. Oh yeah, we should 
probably actually drink that cooler, huh? Eh. Yeah, you're actually gonna fight some, uh... Slow down city. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, you're gonna fight some goblins here, which you normally don't fight here, but... For the sake of the story, they just added them in as enemies here. Take them out. You, you're not gonna die, really? There you go. Jeez. Eh. You know what? Nah, let's not do that. Let's. You son of a bitch. Now nah, I'm irritated. Die. No! Yeah, I just took 529 damage. Yeah, the bombs are set to do like 90% of your HP, your max HP, no matter what, so. That will kill you pretty much every time. You've got to avoid the bombs from exploding on you. Take that. I can't believe I actually died despite how powerful I am. How, well, not powerful I am, but how well I've been doing. But, oh well, that'll happen sometimes. Eh. Nah, I should be okay. Take out the goblins first. They're uh, easier to deal with. Oh, man. Okay. Screw it. I'm just mashing my way through. Die, bombs. They're starting to really irritate me. They actually really are starting to irritate me here. Come on! Blow up! Okay. This is not going so well. That ought to take them all out, right? Really? That should do- Oh, come on! You got no HP left! Don't do this! There we go. Not my best showing, but... I've certainly done worse. Let's see what we got here. Eh. We get the, uh, another recipe, the Shrimp Pepper Racino. It's worthless. And let's go over to the left first. I could make an antidote if I cared, but... Well, fortunately, I don't care. Although the poison is going to stack with, uh... The environmental effects, so I gotta watch out there. I like to just stay on the ground for the bombs. Well, that was very good, actually. <laughs> Everyone else, I, you know, I don't mind fighting in the air for, but the bombs, because they jump around so much, and they're just awkward as hell to hit in the air because they're on fire, I prefer to just hit them when they're on the ground. And it's easier to do that when you're just not jumping around. But feel free to do whatever. Yeah. We have to make uh, another cooler, so. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick all this stuff up. Oh, my bags are full. Oh, well. I'd like to fight one of those uh, mini bosses if I can. Or not. This will be the last stage for today. Or for this episode. Well, for you guys, it's today, but, you know.
That was a nice little, uh... I don't really know what happened there. I was looking at the mini-map. I, I, I guess the bomb put himself on fire? I'm not really sure how I took damage there, because I didn't see an attack animation going off. Okay, so apparently this is a five-star stage. Because it's a five-star stage... We're going to put Overlord on. I really don't want to have to edit out all those deaths, but now I'm going to have to because I've simply died too many times. And I know it's my fault. You know, it's hard for me to get mad when I know it's my fault. I don't want to be like a certain dark side Phil. I'm just a game for over those deaths instead of taking his time and playing better and doing better planning. I am subscribed to this channel. It's not that I don't like the guy. Just sometimes that gets obnoxious. If you overdo it. I got nothing against calling bullshit when bullshit happens in games, you know, but... Not everything that happens against you is bullshit in the game. Some of it is just you sucking. Like me right now. That's okay. Doing better this time. And I believe what I'm going to do here is use a nice little Foson Burst. That ought to take care of all those guys. Damn, that didn't kill any of them? I got more HP than I remember. But that did it. Oh, come on. You got no HP left. Die. There we go. Okay, that was a nice run. So, uh, yeah, I think I died like seven or eight times. <laughs> Probably off camera, I would imagine. But, oh well, I think I got an A rank there. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Nah, I got less than that. A material to- oh, strudel. <laughs> Another useless recipe. Eh. I'll just do that for now. We'll make one more cooler. And next time we'll uh, we'll continue through. Try and finish this area. Uh, yeah, I gotta heal up anyway, so we'll uh, we'll finish the area on the next episode. I hope maybe fit the boss in and everything. So this is Ryzen signing off. Take care.